When you have greedy, corrupt, and incompetent leaders managing your country's resources, and citizens have to scrape up their little change, count every cent before going up to the cashier, what that tells you? I just witnessed something, right? And it breaks my heart so much. We need to thank God every day for what we have. You have a roof over your head, you can pay your bills, and you have food on your table. That's the most important thing in life. And family. Once you can provide for your family. I went to buy something to eat just now, lunch, at the supermarket. I saw this woman with her two kids picking up groceries. She had to count the money. She had to go in her purse. I'm looking at her, going in her purse, her bag, to make sure she had enough money to buy food for her kids. It breaks my heart so much seeing what she had to go through, how she had to do this, what she had to put back, things that she had to put back because she didn't have enough money for it. We need to thank God every day. You can afford to provide for your family. Thank God for what you have. Whoever you believe in, whoever you, your, whoever, whoever you pray to, thank God every day once you can provide for your family. It hurts me so much. I, I don't know, I, tears came to my eye. Seeing what this woman had to do, how she had to buy grocery, how she had to go count her change, she counted her coins. When she reached up by the teller, by the counter, she had she looking at what she could put back because she didn't have enough money to provide, to buy. And when I tell her to buy, is no snack, no candy, nothing like that. It's food, bread, eggs, flour, rice, this little thing. You could see her face, you could see her she trying. Thank God for what you have. Thank God for what you have. Trinidad has been pumping oil and gas for the past 100 years. And what you listen to there is the result of bad management with greedy, corrupt leaders who didn't have a plan for the future. Here in Guyana, we are on that same road today pumping oil. Over 26 billion US worth of oil left this country in the last four and a half years. And we still got more than half of the population counting coins before going up to the vendors in the markets or on the streets. All this because of that oil contract. One government signed and the other now bluntly re refusing to renegotiate. What else you people need to see before you come out? Say and do something. Christ, man. You can't do it for yourself. You can't do it for your children. It's so much y'all in love with these sellouts we have for leaders. Okay. This is a message from Glenn Lal. Please share it.